everybody. Welcome back to my workshop and welcome back to my garage. I want to say thank you very much for stopping by the channel and for tuning in on what I've been doing. This is a sponsored video by Pango Music. They were kind enough to send me the kits to do the review on, so I'd like to say thank you very much for that. So if you're interested in buying a kit, there is an affiliate link in the description below that you can use. That will take you to the Pango website. And if you buy a kit using this affiliate link, it will apply a discount to the purchase of the kit. So please, if you're interested in that, take advantage of that. Uh, it does send a little bit of money back to me at the channel to help, so that's always good. This is going to be an unboxing video of two Les Paul kits that Pango Music sent me. So with these two kits, I'm going to be building them in conjunction with one another. Because a lot of the things that are going to happen, happen at the same time. You know, as I put these kits together, you know, the, the mock-up, the gluing the neck in, uh, as we go through that. So it's easier just to do these together rather than shoot separate videos on it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pan the camera down, take a look at the unboxing, and see what we have with these kits. So I have received another kit from Pango. Uh, this is actually, I believe, going to be two kits. So let's go ahead and open these up, get the unboxing done, and see what we've got. Trying to go on the lines of the, the top of the box to kind of get it to split open a little bit better. I think what we've got is one kit on one, one top on one and one top on the other. So we'll unbox this first one first, see what we've got here. Oh yeah. So as you can see, this came packed really, really well. Uh, nice styrofoam packing. Everything is there. Uh, let's take a look at the neck first. We're going to be putting this back in the box as we go because I'm not quite ready to build this one yet. Oh, nice. This one's a little bit different. Uh, rather than the square heel, they've actually got a neck tenon on this one. So that's really nice. Again, no scarf joint on the neck. The binding looks good. It's got multiply binding on the headstock, which looks really good. Plastic nut, black plastic nut. Frets look nice. Frets feel nice. Really like those inlays there. So you can get an idea of that. The binding on the neck looks good. So we're good there. So let's put this back in the thing. Actually, we'll leave it out because I want to try a to see what the neck body fit looks like. Oh wow, okay. Les Paul body. Nice flame maple veneer on this. Uh, it is a veneer. I can see where they've got the uh, veneer going on top of it. So that's, that's nice. Bound on the back too, super nice. The routes look good, no tear out there. All the binding, looking at the binding around, looks good. Looks good with the multiply binding all the way around. I don't see any gaps in the binding where it goes up against the body. Just going to do a quick fit here to see what this, how this goes. Okay, so you can see that's a good fit there along the body. Good fit there, and a good fit at the neck heel. Maybe a little bit of touch up work, but that's to be that's to be expected uh, to get that fit to just where we like it. Nope. After I hold it in there and clamp it down, that's a pretty good fit. I'm really impressed with that. That looks good. Yeah, that body's looking really nice. It's got some good weight to it. Uh, it's just kind of that weight you'd expect a Les Paul to be. Let's see now what we have with kit number two. And here we go with kit number two. Take a look at the neck first here. Wow, this looks like a bone nut. That is a bone nut. All right, so what we have with kit number two. The nut was off and that's no problem at all because uh, it's a bone nut and we'll fit that properly anyway. Binding down the side again, and again, uh, tendon joint for the neck. Uh, frets look good. Standard block inlays with this one. 
so that's nice. Bone nut, I'm, I'm really liking that. Got the body here, let's see what this looks like. All right, so again, a uh, nice multiply binding on the body. Front, uh, quilt veneer this time on top. Binding on the back, mahogany body. Uh, looks like three piece body. Again, the, the, every, all the uh, routes and everything look good. Let's see how the neck's gonna fit in here. Again, a pretty good fit here on the neck. Goes through. So a nice fit for the neck there. That looks good. Again, the body looks nice. Uh, similar to the other one, it's got a good weight to it. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. We do have a pick guard and backing plate. Take a look here and see what we've got hardware wise. This one has gold hardware. So we've got uh, gold hardware, stop piece bridge. We have our top mounts for the tuners, screw packet. We have knobs. We have pickups. Uh, again, gold hardware on the pickups, so that looks good. Just doing a quick review of the wiring harness here. Looks pre-wired with two tones, two volumes. That looks good. Three-way switch. Let's take a quick peek at how, the, how one of the tuners feels just to get an idea of what we got here. These look very similar to the tuners that are on the Vi Flying V kit that I'm currently working on as well. They feel good. Now let's go ahead and get a ride reading on these pickups to see what we have. Uh, this is going to be our neck pickup and it's got N10 on it. So it's for the neck and this one's bridge 10.4. So I'm betting that's the reading that they've got on the pickups, but we're going to check them. So let's take a look at our neck pickup first. Next reading 8.87, and let's see what the bridge is going to get. I expect this to be a little bit higher. 14.5, uh, 14.59 for the bridge pickup. So overall, looking at the kit, it's a good quality kit. So that's going to wrap up this video. As you see, we've got two great quality kits from Pango Music. If you like what I'm doing, please click like, click subscribe, leave a comment below. I read every comment. I answer every comment. So until next time, thank you very much for stopping by the channel and take care.